Yo, what's going on guys? We welcome back to our channels again. In today's video, I'm going to share my general user experience after bought this Xbox Series X for probably 4 years. I'm also going to share my personal story with Xbox. So the first thing I want to talk about is the design. As you guys can see, it's kind of like a boring rectangle design. I will think it's just like the Steve Jobs said before, the only problem about Microsoft is that they have no taste. I bought this console for probably around 650 USD dollar on the end of 2020. I know I paid the extra price, but since you guys know it's just launched at that time, so it's okay for me to pay the extra price. So for myself, I only play the third party games and the Xbox Game Pass game on my Xbox. And the good thing is that the working sound is really lower than my PS5. I barely can hear nothing from this console. Only when I play some specific games, I probably can hear the fan sound. But it's still really quiet than my PS5, and I really love this feature. And I really love the controller layout, since it's really good or still able for playing the FPS shooting games. So if I play in the Call of Duty or Battlefield games, I will only play these games on my Xbox. There's one bad thing, at least in Asia, or even global market. The second-hand market about the Xbox is kind of bad compared with the PS5 market. It's also kind of hard for me to buy the physical disc in my country. And for now, I think the biggest issue of Xbox is that the golden area of Xbox 360's exclusive game is already gone. For now, you can play the Forza or Halo, play them on the PC, and even there's one day we can play them on the Switch 2 or even PS6. It's really kind of like a shame. And for the graphic, it's just okay. If you have a decent PC or even powerful PC, simply do not buy the Xbox. Or if you are a PC master race, you definitely don't need that. And most game is running on the 4K 30 FPS and also some kind of games can running up on the 2K resolution with the 60 FPS. Only few of games can probably run on the 4K resolution with the 60 FPS. But there's one good thing is that the Xbox Game Pass still give me an amazing experience. Although the price gonna be increased up, but we still can play such more high quality games, especially including the new Call of Duty, and every month it's still coming out with some kind of new games, and I think the user experience of the Xbox Game Pass is better than the PS Plus. It's just my personal opinion. And in this part, I'm going to talking about my story about the Xbox. So the first time when I know the Xbox, when I was probably 8 years old, I still can remember only that morning when I finished my breakfast and I preparing to go into the school. And the first time I heard news about that Microsoft recently released the first generation Xbox and the new games coming out, it's called Halo. By that time, you know, I'm only a kid, I have no money. It's really hard for me to afford a console like Xbox at that time. So I just leave it gone, just think, okay, this console is too far away from itself. And after like a few years, sometimes I can go into the console renting store, which can allow me play the NBA 2K, for probably 5 RMB I can play it for our hours. So when the time going to the 2015, I bought my first Xbox One console when I was in the university. And I really feeling happy at that time. I still can remember that the first game I bought is the Halo Master Chief Collection. But for me, that game is kind of disappointed. As you guys know that it's really an old game and I now play it before when I was a kid. And as you know, it's not a remake version, it's only a remastered version, so you cannot imagine something more. It's just too old game for me at that time. And normally I play in the Call of Duty and Black Battlefield 1, and as I was in the UK at that time, there's too many people to play the FIFA in the Europe, so I need to no worry about the player amount. There's so many people play the Xbox. And I'm feeling happy to see right now the Game Pass is coming with the new Call of Duty. So the player in Asia will increase. 
Pretty bad thing in Asia Survival is that still we get so many campers, so the general playing experience is a bit worse than in the Europe. And for now, I just simply love the way to play the games on my Xbox, especially I already bought so many games on the Xbox. Now finally, who need to buy the Xbox? Well, repeat, if you have a decent PC or even a powerful PC, simply do not buy Xbox. The graphic on this console is just okay. And if you just looks like me, taking me as an example, I only have a one MacBook Pro, and which is already can satisfying my working requests and also can uh, give me a really good user experience in my life. So for me, I just simply love the way to play the console gaming. It's just when I switch on the console, I can simply go into the game. There's no need to optimize the graphic setting or the other things like the mode or kind of extra things. So if you like a person like myself, you can go into buy it. And also I will predict that in this generation for now, there's probably no midterm updated console like the Xbox One X or like the PS5 Pro. Or even though like we don't know whether the PS5 Pro will really come out or it's just like rumors. So this is today's video to talking about my general review of Xbox and also sharing my story. If you like today's video, please like it and subscribe to my channel and leave your comment. And we'll see you guys next time.